Hello, hello, hello! Snapshot 12W49A is out and rather full of detailed things, so it's almost a good thing that it came out after the news went live. Let's get into it, you beauties! To start with, Jeb promised nether brick half slabs at Minecon 2012, so that is what we'll be getting come 1.4.6. Correct, there will be a pre-New Year update with these features in it. Simply mine three nether brick blocks, line them up in a crafting table, and then receive six half blocks in return. They pretty much complete the collection of nether brick blocks, fences and stairs, etc. Next up, enchanting books. If you place a book in an enchanting table and select an enchantment as normal, you'll get one effect placed on it and an experience cost. You can look at the complete selection in the creative menu, but for survival the usefulness is in the fact that you can choose the enchantment before adding it to the tool, weapon or piece of armour using the anvil, again for an experience exchange. No more unwanted enchantments. Be selective. Oh, and don't forget, you need to place them in the right slots, or you won't get the option to enchant. At Minecon, Jeb said there may be fireworks during the future updates with the Minecraft PC team panel. Well, New Year will be bright this year, as they are in the snapshot. To craft a firework rocket with no effects, you'll need one paper and one gunpowder in a crafting area, but when you fire it from a dispenser, there will be no explosion effect. To spice up the firework rockets, you'll need one gunpowder and one dye, as this creates a firework star. Any dye will work, and of course it changes the colour of the explosion. Add a firework star to a paper and gunpowder combination, and you'll have a firework that reflects the star colour. To make it go higher, add more gunpowder at this stage, up to three times. Aside from the colour and height variables, there are also burst shapes which can be mixed and matched. If you want a larger explosion effect, add a fire charge into your firework star recipe. For that starry night effect, add a gold nugget to the ingredients, which breaks up the ball. For those effective small fireworks, add a feather for the burst effects. Mine's in pink. Fabulous. <laughs> this one's cool. Add any of the four heads that are available in game to the mix, and you'll get a creeper shaped explosion. Obviously, I chose the green one for this. Terror in the skies. These are your fundamental shape variables, but if you want to add effects such as a trail to your rocket, shove a diamond in that firework star and leave a streak across the sky. If twinkles are your things, then you can add glowstone dust, and the firework particles will shimmer as they fade. There are plenty of variables, so go download the snapshot and go crazy, or wait for the real update, that's legit too. Finally for the snapshot, if you press shift by default to sneak, then you can place items like levers and redstone on things such as dispensers and crafting tables etc. It's a small change, but with large scope for awesome, as I'm sure you'll imagine. Remember to subscribe folks, I hope this helped you with the snapshot, I hope you have fun with it. Take care and peace out. Love. Me. David. <laughs> Take care.